So guys, now we will join the M365 developer program. So to do that, we need to search that Microsoft developer program. And this will give us the first link. Over here, you need to click on this. Then we will get this button, join now. So click on join now button. And over here, you need to specify the email ID, which we have created. That is Outlook account. That is our step by step SPFX at Outlook.com. Next, and it will ask me for password. Let me sign in. So I signed in, click on yes. Once you sign in then you need to specify which region you belongs to so i belongs to india so i will select india over here and for the company i will tell that skills privacy and i will click on i accept and if you are interested to get some information for microsoft 365 developer program you can select this one now click on next now over here it will ask that what is your primary focus as a developer so you can select any one of them whichever you want for this i am going to tell that personal projects next and over here which thing i am interested upon i will tell that spfx microsoft graph microsoft teams because these are the things which we are going to use in our this course now click on save so now it is giving us two options instant sandbox and configurable sandbox so what actually it is so basically it is giving us some of the pre-configured information which we required for our development and that is being used for working with Microsoft 365 development environment. And this is giving us the opportunity to create the tenant where we do the online development for the respective project. We are going to work with SharePoint Online and to work with SharePoint Online, we must need a tenant where some of the user need to be configured. So in this case, it is going to configure 16 fixes users. It is also going to configure Microsoft Teams with the sample data pack with App Studio and custom apps pre-configured. And it is also going to provide data for microsoft graph sharepoint and office add-in development we are mainly interested in sharepoint that with the help of this step we will get the pre-configured users along with additional data so what we need to do we need to select instant sandbox with the help of that we will get our own tenant where we can configure the app catalog and we will also create the site collection into the sharepoint online so now we will click on next so here it is asking for in which country or region for your data center always choose the nearest one so i have asia pack i will choose this one singapore now it is asking for admin username so i will tell my m365 admin a fixious name for the admin user and the password whichever the password which you are able to remember so i will tell my password so over here you will see that it is giving us the hint that what kind of password you can keep and what are the combinations of keys you can have so i have kept my password and for the 16 fixes user which is going to be created within your new tenant so you can specify different password as well but for my case i am going to keep it same for all my users here you will see that it is not giving us continue option so we must have to change the password and your password should fulfill these requirements so let me quickly fix it now i have fixed the password issue you will see that the warning gone and now you will see that we are getting this continue option so let's click on this now we need to specify the phone number so that we will get the code so let me quickly do this step you can also do by your own by specifying your number once you will get the code then you need to specify the code then you will get that option to set up to so click on that and now you will find that the details about our tenant the tenant which we got with the name of vvy62 dot on microsoft.com and over here you will see that 90 days left for this subscription so it doesn't mean that after 90 days it will expire if you are using continuously it will be get extended every 90 days so i would suggest that whenever you are creating any tenant you have to work on it you have to create either any of the custom web part or you have to play with the tenant so that microsoft will not delete your tenant when they find that this tenant is continuously being used for the development purpose if it is not being used then they will go ahead and they will delete it now another important information what we are getting that it is a e5 license and here it is telling that it is going to expire at august 11 2022 so don't worry about that it will not expire if you are using this as i already mentioned it now so the name which i have given that is my m365 admin and this tenant and how many user license we got 
we got 25 user likes and 16 users they have already been created now we have nine users option if you want to include any of your colleague or if you have a team you can include those people within your tenant and you can specify the details about those users now next we have sample data pack so we have users mail and event sample data pack microsoft team sharepoint and we are over here you will see that it is telling the information about the products microsoft team we are showing you content based on the preference that you have selected if you remember that we have selected spfx microsoft teams as well as microsoft graph so all these information is coming on the basis of our selection which we have done earlier now i will click on plus sharepoint data pack once you click on sharepoint then you will get this option over here what it is telling sharepoint sample data pack so to install the sharepoint sample data pack we need to click on this start so let's click on it once you do this then you will get another option called next so on this we need to click on next to configure so let's do it now over here it is asking us to provide the name of the main hub site title then live site and some other detail about the other site because it is going to create the hub site structure to install the sharepoint sample data pack i am going to click on the next option so let's click on next option next we will get the option for authenticate over here also we need to click on next button so let's click on next button to install the sample data pack it is asking us the password which we have set tenant admin initially so let's provide that password click on sign in it is asking us to set up the multi-factor authentication that i don't want right now we will do it after 14 days so let's click on this so now to set up the sharepoint sample data it is asking for some of the permission for this particular app which is basically designed to configure your tenant environment with sharepoint sample data so let's click on this consent on behalf of your organization and accept it to install all the sample data for sharepoint so now it has started installing the sharepoint sample data it will take some time i'm going to stop and we will meet at next session where we can see that how we can set up the app catalog by that time this tenant will also get ready and if you are following along with me your tenant will also get ready if you wait for 20 30 minutes so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care